What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Showtime National Midfielders, talking about them, reviewing them, their re-releases, but we are going to be doing the builds again and showing you guys with the new kind of gameplay where we're at with it, right? Of just slightly different builds than a couple of months ago when these players first released. So these are in a pack of 150 as standard. These are 150 in the box and you have to spend. They're included with all of these here as well. As you can see here, we will touch on Valverde and also I think we're going to take a look at Bernardo Silva's training guide as well. If you want other training guides on these cards, make sure and let me know in the comments below. But, you know, we're not going to cover them all because these are fairly standard other cards like Gallagher and uh, Party and Pino. They're very standard cards for where the game is at at the moment. But it's all about these three Showtime cards that have got special skills. So we are actually going to start with Vritz. This guy is down as a whole player with his max level here with the booster. We, When we're training cards, we don't pay any heat to the booster. I will explain that in a future video. It's something that I've been working on for a while. But his stats straight off at level 1 with the booster are insane. As you can see here, 88 dribbling, 86 tight possession. And of course, you've got the balance. You've got speed. You've got acceleration. He's got an in-game face. Fresh off from winning the Bundesliga as well. What an absolute beast of a player. Very, very young. Probably one of the most exciting footballers in the, in the world at the moment. And Konami are kind of, have kind of been clever enough by re-releasing him because a lot of people are thinking that he's the best AMF in the game. I was live streaming there today and people were saying, you know, he is the best AMF in the game for them. Honus, Musiala, Ronaldinho, and probably I would say Badgio would have something to say about that when you're talking about the ultimate meta tier list. But I definitely think that he is a fantastic player. Double touch, sombrero, soul control. Flip flap is a definite to give to Vritz just to have him with that extra bit of sauce if you are a good dribbler. And I do feel as well that the big problem with this card is he doesn't have low lofted pass that you will need to give him. And also that if you are playing an attacking midfielder now, you kind of need to be able to shoot with those players as well. Now he does have good stats, but he doesn't have any shooting ability apart from long range curler. He does have chip shot control, but I definitely think the three skills to give him are going to be flip flap, which he doesn't have, low lofted pass, and I would say outside curler. They're the three that I would get 100%. Gamesmanship is another one that you could give him, but this is going to be a fairly good attacking midfielder build. We'll show you the build at the end of the video. Next up, of course, we're going to have none other than Fernandez. Very, very good player as well. He's down as a DMF. We're going to actually show you two builds of Fernandez, okay? So we're going to show you the first build of him, which is going to be a defensive build, and then we're going to show you a more attacking build that's kind of in the line of a traditional kind of attacking box-to-box, -box, which a lot of people like to play with. If I was playing Fernandez, I would potentially use him as my double in a double pivot with an anchorman. So either Rijkaard or Vieira playing deep line, or else Rodri or Casemiro or somebody sitting between the centre backs when you don't have the ball, which is a lot of the time. Uh, unless you play possession, you play very, very, very good possession. Fernandez is more of a box to box. He's your Kante, he's your Makalele, he's your Davids, he's your chase down artist, and he's just literally going to be covering every blade of grass. I do feel that with his booster, he could have been a slightly better card. His speed and acceleration and balance are very, very bad for a player this size because he doesn't have much physicality, much weight or much height uh, for a player like this. Player skills, nothing to be sniffed at either. Very, very nice. He actually has soul control, one touch pass. He has weighted pass, low lofted and true passing as well as slide and tackle, but he doesn't have interception. He doesn't have blocker. If you're playing a defensive build, you will 100% need interception and blocker. That's where the game is at at the moment. If you don't have those, you're not going to block as many balls. Um, so yeah, that is something to keep in mind as well with those skills. But we'll show you the two different builds. And then, of course, we do have Sabazalai as well. This guy is a very, very good card. I've heard people talk about him as a creative playmaker in the, in the, in the same mold. Because he's got flip-flap and because he's able to do a couple of tricks, I feel like he is kind of silkier than he actually looks on paper. He kind of reminds me, because he's over that 180 centimeter threshold, but he's 74 kg, he can still pull off some really good moves and be really slick on the pitch. Long range curler, dip and shot, long range shooting, as well as true pass and one touch and weighted pass with visionary pass. So that is the showtime pass that he does have. He's the only one that has that from the showtime selection here, which is a bit of a pity. I mean, if you spin this box and you open 100 players and you end up getting two of the boys, but you don't get him, you're not going to be really getting the showtime advantage here, like Blitz Curler or like Visionary Pass. So I do feel that that's why people are probably finding that this pack is quite a decent pack. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. I definitely think because this is a re-release, there isn't as much hype about it. But the rest of the pack, it's, it's a pretty solid pack, man. If you're looking for an attacking midfielder and you have a couple of coins and you've saved up a couple of coins, 
you could go worse. You could go worse. I mean, you're probably going to be opening, if you open a good few coins here or spend a few coins here, you are probably going to be getting an end game at worst Fernandez, which is a brilliant CMF. I like this Fernandez. We've actually played with him before. Bernardo Silva, we'll have a look at his card as well. Again, there's a lot of AMFs in the game that can do a job for you. Creative playmaker. Interestingly enough, he doesn't have one touch pass, which is a little bit of a bust on him. And his weak foot accuracy is only medium. That's one thing I will say. It's not something I talk about too much because it kind of is into the tier of, you know, maybe top thousand in the world that need to worry about such minuscule details like that, like his form, his high foot accuracy. Fernandez is as high. Uh, we've got another high there as well. And then we do have the weak for accuracy there being high for all of these. So that is an interesting one when you take a look at these three players with their weak foot accuracy. Bernardo Silva is only a medium, obviously, and Valverde is a high. So that's something that you can play. Sometimes when the animations don't click in, it can be because of that. Why a player is using his left foot more than his right, even if he is right-footed. So it is interesting. The rest of the players in the pack, you've got a mix of standard and you've got a mix of these guys. These guys aren't really worth training up unless, obviously, you're a newcomer. But yeah, we're going to pop up. I'm just going to hide my webcam. We're going to pop up the builds on the screen right here, right now. And as I said, this is your best build if you're looking for just a bona fide end game attacking midfielder. None of these builds are going to have the manager boost or the actual booster. That depends on Xabi Alonso or Pep or Klopp or Ten Hag or whatever manager that you're using at this present moment. This is an unbelievable card. You're going to have plus 90 in all the key stats, including speed, including acceleration, balance, dribbling type possession. You pair that with the obvious uh, advantages to having a card that can do it all in midfield, as well as shooting in that attacking midfielder role. As I said, I would put him in the, probably in the top five, top six attacking midfielders at the moment in terms of his player ID and what he can actually do on the pitch. You know, he's up there with Ronaldinho. He's up there with Baggio. He's up there with Honus and Musi. So there's a lot, of, a lot to like about this card. We also have another build here, which is going to be a similar attack in midfielder. The Liverpool man, of course, obviously is a bit of a unique card because he's got height. And he has got a lot to like about this card. We've already talked about the skills that you're going to be giving him. That is the build that we got there. 3, 2, 9, 14, 6. And then Fernandez. We have two builds for Fernandez. So the first one is obviously going to be a defensive build. 12 into defending. 4 passing, 6 dribbling, 9 dexterity, 8 lower body, and 1 into aerial strength just to pop that in. That is going to be a very decent defensive-minded box-to-box that's going to cause your opponent a lot of trouble trying to pass through your midfield because everyone plays narrow. A lot of people play narrow, so it is good to clog up midfield if you want to stop conceding goals, especially if you're trying to be competitive at the higher level, you know? Um, but tackling and aggressiveness there are fantastic. He still has the speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina to get around. Tight possession and low pass is fine. I prefer this build. It's not as good overall, but I definitely prefer this build with Fernandez. You've got seven into passing, nine into dribbling, 12 into dex, and of course, eight into lower body with three into defending. That is going to be the card I think I would go for. In other, in other cards here, we have Valverde's build. We'll just even out the video with that. Very, very solid that if you do spin for one of these boys and you actually end up getting Valverde, there is the build for him or Silva. If you want to see another build or for other builds of any of these cards, I have done another uh, video on this from a couple of weeks ago um, when these cards were first out. But they are the best builds that I would definitely recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button if you're a beast. And I will talk to you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said, and peace.